In today's video, we're going to have a look at a very common household device, the cordless phone. In this experiment, we will see how far the signal reaches, its power levels, and a potential way of blocking that signal. In studies recently done in Australia, they found a direct correlation to this particular frequency and bees who like to avoid this frequency. I think today's experiment will show you why that is. So we're going to go and have a look at what is happening with this unseen form of pollution. Okay, I'm here outside the house with a high frequency reader and this machine will pick up frequencies that are over 800 megahertz. That's 800 million hertz. It picks up microwaves. So what I'm going to do is turn it on outside. I won't really try and talk, but we are going to track down a signal. Here we go. Okay, we're going to have a look at a very simple way to block a microwave signal with a very small piece of aluminum screening. So although microwave um, frequencies are powerful, they're relatively easy to disrupt. So we're just going to turn this on and see what we can do. try and show the power levels of the phone and the difference between shielded and unshielded. So, as you can see, it's pretty Alright, so as you can see, the signal off these devices is extremely high. It's extremely pre prevalent. It goes all the way through the house, well into the yards, and that's how that signal can travel right through your neighbor's house and, depending on the strength of the phone, through several neighbors' houses. As far as I'm concerned, in the EMF field business, this phone is a crime. Get rid of it. Throw it out. Chuck it. Go for the landline. Listen to that thing. Perfect timing. Beautiful sound. Safe technology. Cheers.